Coach Earl Lavery, Class of 1950. G'day from beautiful Sydney, Australia, where I'm currently on an exchange with our brother Jesuit High School, St. Aloysius. And you can see the iconic Sydney Opera House over my shoulder. Since I can't be with you tonight, I'd like to first of all congratulate all of the inductees, in particular my friend and former prep and Harvard classmate, Paul Hallis. Paul, congratulations on this well-deserved honor. When Earl asked me to present him tonight, I was just bowled over. I played for Earl in the early 1970s. I coached with Earl on our first state championship team. And when I was announced as the new head coach in 2011, Earl was one of the first people that called me and congratulated me. He said, Tom, I'd like to come down and share with you some mistakes that I made as a coach and maybe you can avoid making the same ones. So we met. I'll tell you, it was a pretty short meeting. So was the part about strategy. Earl said, well, you run 14, uh, 44 and 13 right down their throats, play suffocating defense, and you win each of your games by 14 to nothing, 21 nothing. We're only that simple. In preparing, I was asked uh, to comment on what Earl would think of this award. Now, I'd never speak for anyone else, much less the great man himself, but I'll surmise he was a little uncomfortable with all of this individual attention. It's not Earl's way. With Earl, it's always about the team and the program first. That's what he taught us as players. That's what he demanded from us. Commitment, sacrifice, and selflessness. And we oh so willingly gave it to him. But he tricked us a bit, because in giving it to him, we were actually giving it to each other. And in doing so, uh, the bonds of respect, love, and loyalty formed, and we became teammates for a lifetime. That's the gift that Earl gave his players, not the victories, but the bonds that lasted a lifetime. And I think today that's why uh, Earl's former players are some of Prep's most loyal alumni. Now he taught a lot of other lessons as well. As a formative lad, he taught me how to be a man. As a coach in formation, he taught me how to build a program that would reflect Prep's true values. He said, do that first and the victories will take care of themselves. I think his 230 victories is a testament to the power of process and values over athletic ability and tactics. I only wish our colleague Rich Magnet could be here tonight. Rich loved Earl and was very proud of his affiliation with Earl and Prep football. I too am very proud to be part of a coaching line that features great men like Earl, Rich, the great Joe Brosley, and now Keith Helster. But there's no doubt about it, folks. It's Earl that created, shaped, prep football program that we all know and love today. So I'm proud to say my name is Tom Shea and it is my honor to present head football coach Earl Lavery for induction into the Prep Football Athletic Hall of Fame.